In those days, a decree went out from Caesar Augustus to conduct a census of the Roman world. This was the first census that took place when Quirinius was governor of Syria. So everyone travelled back to their original hometowns to register, including Joseph. He went up from Nazareth in Galilee to the city of David, which is called Bethlehem in Judea, because he was from David's family line. He took Mary, his fiancée, with him to be registered, and she was pregnant. And while they were there in Bethlehem, the time came for her to have the baby, and she gave birth to her firstborn son. And because there was no room for them in the inn, she wrapped him in strips of cloth and used an animal food trough for his cradle. In that part of the country there were shepherds who stayed out in the fields at night to keep guard over their flock. Without warning, one of the Lord's angels appeared to them, and the blinding brilliance of the Lord shone all around them. They were terrified, but the angel said to them, Do not be afraid. Listen, I am here to bring you news of great joy, which is for all the people. Today, a Saviour has been born to you in the city of David. He is Christ the Lord. And this will be the sign for you. You will find a child wrapped up in strips of cloth and lying in a food trough. Suddenly there appeared with the angel a vast company of the heavenly armies praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest and peace on earth among those with whom he is pleased. After the angels had left them and gone back to heaven, the shepherds said to each other, Come on, let's go into Bethlehem and see this thing that has taken place, which the Lord has made known to us. And they went quickly and discovered Mary and Joseph and the baby lying in a food trough. When they saw this, they revealed the message that had been told to them about this child, and everyone who heard it was amazed at what the shepherds said. Mary treasured all these things, and thought them over in her heart. The shepherds went back, glorifying and praising God for everything they had heard and seen, which had happened just as they had been told.